and I wanted to do a regular video and get back to regular programming because I think life here is getting regular. Eyeliners and some eyebrow stuff. So this is the old version of the ColourPop eyebrow pencils. I can tell you that I liked the color on this, but I hated the formula on these. I do like that it has a spoolie and all that. It, but these suckers were just way, way, way too soft. And the minute you rolled out too much, it broke. It broke on your eye and I didn't like that. Hopefully the new version is better. But I can tell you that this was way too soft and it just broke and I couldn't stand it for that reason. I think it didn't retract. I think... I can't remember, but I'm thinking it didn't retract and I didn't like it for that reason. I also went through this Maybelline Brow Micro Pencil really quick and it's because half of it freaking broke off. And so I think I'm just going to stay away from Maybelline Brow Pencils like this because I used to have one, I did a review, I did a, sorry I got like an itch right here. I did a comparison with like the Master Precise, uh, Define a Brow and then the Master Precise or something like that. And I did enjoy both of those, but the problem was the, the Define a Brow like went way too fast. So anything that's mechanical from Maybelline, I just need to stay away from because it, it just broke way too easy and went like your money was gone like in a second. So I'm going to stay away from those. This is ColourPop Cream Eyeliner. Um, I didn't like the, the pencils in there, right? And then I think it falls out. Yeah, it comes out. And I think I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of messing with this. It is very black and it is very creamy, but something made me throw it in this empties, like say the hell with you. I think it's because like when you put it on your eye, then it kind of comes out or I can't remember why I decided to be done with this, but apparently I didn't like it. I think I have way too many black eyeliners. I mean, that's very black. I give it to you. But when your eyebrow, like, see there, it went and fell in my hand. When it fall, Or when your eyeliner falls out in your hand, it's just time to be done with it because it's just a pain in the ass. Okay, and then this is from Prestige. It's the Line and Style Ink Pen. It's, it's I mean, it's still fresh. I just received this, but the problem is... It skips too much, and then when I get it, like, on the corner, I have watery eyes. It disappears on me. Like, it just, it starts to water. And when I would get it over here, my watery eyes make it, like, just disappear. Like, it fades or it runs down, and I can't be, I can't be working with that. All right, so I had this Body Shop Seaweed Deep Conditioning or Deep Cleansing Facial Wash. I would use this, like, after work because when I work my full days, I'm pretty dirty. Like we're out, because I work outside and you're out there in the elements, you're touching all kinds of nasty stuff and stuff is just blowing around and getting on you. So I do enjoy, I did enjoy using this as my after work facial wash. Problem is this sucker, like it would, as soon as I would open it, even if I was like this, I mean, it just like spilled out. So like half of the product was wasted into my shower and it was way too expensive. I think it was like $18 for this little bitty guy. It was something like that. It was not cheap. And so I just, I have way cheaper or way different, you know, like my first aid beauty was probably, it's probably along the same price, but it doesn't leak out. And this just leaked out and I don't like it. And so I would not repurchase it for that reason because half of my product was just wasted. All right. So I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I had gotten this as a sample from, from Sephora and I did enjoy it. Okay, perfect. So I have this Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray from, um, that I'd gotten in a Birch Box, not Birch Box, BoxyCharm. And that sprayer was like, poo, poo, poo. I mean, it was like, beating the crap out of my face when I would use it. So that is going, the top for this Urban Decay is now going on that. Although the straw is a little small, I will save this straw for that. Okay, so, perfect. So that was the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I mean, I like it. I don't know if it like set my makeup all day because really I haven't had to test my makeup like that. Most of my days are not longer than eight hours with makeup usually not so um 
I, it does a nice job of like kind of making all your makeup melt and look very nice and clean and non-powdery. But um, yeah, I'm so glad that I just remembered that I was going to do that. I was going to switch that out because although that setting spray was nice, that darn um, sprayer was awful. Let me see if I can switch the lids here. There we go. Okay, that's awesome. All right, so switching that out. This June Jacobs Papaya Purifying Enzyme Mask, another mask that's kind of like that Juice Beauty one. Didn't notice any like miracle working and it says it's paraben free, paraben free, preservative free and honestly I just had it way too long in my collection. I think it smells bad too. It smells like it's gone bad so yeah I just decided oh yeah that needs to go. I have this small, what is this? This was from Victoria's Secrets. This was like the very sexy. I used this small um, perfume, use that up. I finally got through this Clinique Pep Start sample eye cream. It lasted forever. And I really do like this because I feel like it sinks into my eyes or underneath my eyes well. It doesn't sit on top. I feel like it absorbs and it doesn't leave me greasy. So I really do, did like this and I purchased a full size that I just haven't got to yet because I'm working through another sample. I'm working through this Alginus sample. Um, but yeah, I do, I do enjoy that. So if you're looking for a daytime eye cream, then I would highly recommend this Clinique one. It's a really good one because it doesn't sit on top of your skin. It sinks into the skin and doesn't leave you all oily, so stuff is not going to break up on top of it. I did get through this Dream Angels Heavenly perfume sample. I had the full size at one time. I think I used that up last year in like a project pan or something. I did get through this little sample. I absolutely love this scent. I need to see if they still make this scent because this is my perfect winter scent. Like, I, it just makes me feel so in love with myself. <laughs> if that's a way to describe it. Like I'm just like, oh, you smell so good. Oh God, I love you. Oh, so that's how this makes me feel. So I really need to find out if that scent is still made. I had gotten this Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil. I don't know where the heck I got it. I got it in some kind of sample box and I actually liked it. It smelled really nice. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't sticky. It was a really nice like finishing oil for my hair. I have very dry ends and I, I did like it. I don't know where I got it, but I liked it. This Degree Motion Sense Sexy Intrigue Invisible Solid. Um, I can't remember anything about it. Used it up though. Finally decided to call it my Mali Cancellation Conditioning Concealer done. I can still see a little bit of product and if I squeeze super duper duper hard, I could probably get something out of it. But I mean, I, I really tried to use the heck out of it and I squeezed the crap out of it to get product. Towards the end here, I wasn't using it underneath my eyes. I was using it as an eye primer. I, it's just, it's a really good, like long time wear conditioning concealer. It says conditioning concealer. Concealer. Um, it has like a yellow tinge to it, so it, it's really good about brightening. Problem is, it's just too drying, and so towards the end, I was like, okay, you can just, I'm going to call you done. I've used, I've used, I've gotten my money out of you. So, um, I mean, even the bottom here, it looks like I might have something, but I mean, I was like bending and flexing, and the only thing I could do was cut the top off and possibly get some more out of it, but I mean, I need to call this... All right, so I have these samples of this Living Proof Restore Conditioner and Shampoo. These didn't smell very good. I can tell you I did not like the smell on this. I didn't like it at all. But the conditioner made my hair feel so freaking amazing. I really did like that. Another, um, oh look, and it has the, the Restore Mask Treatment. I think that's the one that I was like, my hair feels like silk. And I liked it, but I know that those are very expensive. Another product that made my hair feel like freaking silk was this Saki Balm Nourishing Shampoo from Dry Bar. I know that you can purchase this at Sephora. I probably got the sample from Sephora. And it felt amazing, but I don't remember the scent on it. Darn it. Okay, so I have this. Like, I mean, I'm trying telling you, I went through a bunch of samples. Bamboo Oil Strengthening Conditioner and Shampoo. Don't remember anything about it. 
this caviar anti-aging rescue alterna care, hair care this one was nice this one made my hair feel really nice um yeah the next day my hair felt like you know freaking amazing so i did go through a bunch of conditioners here um this is from you know like dyeing your hair this is nice and easy color color silk conditioner is it because your hair is just like desperate for conditioner that they just feel so freaking amazing but um and then i did use this from sally's it's the argan oil proclaim with argan oil from morocco um i think this left a film in my hair i'm gonna try it again because i have like four more it you when you renewed your card they gave you like five or six um I'm going to retry this and see if I still feel like an oily film on my hair. Maybe I just didn't rinse it out good enough. I'm going to give it another try, but what I remember is that, like, when I went to get my hair done the next day, the girl says, you have something in your hair. And it was that. That was in my hair. All right, last few things, I promise. So, um, I did use up this liquid blender cleanser from, you know, Beauty Blender. I didn't feel like it was amazing or anything. I did really enjoy this Aveeno Positively Radiant Overnight Hydrating Facial and then the 60 Second Inch Shower Facial. I don't know if the Inch Shower Facial did anything, but the Overnight Hydrating Facial felt really nice, smelled really nice. I really enjoyed this. I would definitely repurchase this if I ran out of like all the beauty products that I have, but I have so much. So um, this would be something, you know, on your radar that I would say consider or take a look at. The Positively Radiant Overnight Hydrating Facial, really nice. And then I did finish up a soil, soil, <laughs> fresh soy face cleanser um, for all skin types, rich in amino acids. My kids are crying now, so I'm going to have to go. Okay, that's it. I'm going to call this video done and um, just say thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. And subscribe to my channel before you leave. Let me know if you know who that is. Okay, bye guys. She said, she, co she comes to my room, I said, what are you doing in here? Do you want to play with us? No, I don't, don't want to play with you and Lauren. Then get out of my room. Get out of my room. Okay, go. I'm trying to film. She won't leave me alone. She needs to get out of my room. Because she's not going to play with us. Okay, bye. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to film. <laughs> what? She's being mean to me. She says if you don't want to play, then you have to get out.